Okay, I had a student email me yesterday evening uh, and she wrote, Hello, I'm having problems understanding how the future value is calculated in the following problem. I'm hoping you can explain. And the title of the problem is called Yield to Call. And it says, a 5.25% coupon bond with 14 years left to maturity can be called in four years. The call premium is one year of coupon payments and it is offered for sale at $1,075.50. What is the yield to call of the bond? Assume the interest payments are semi-annual and then it gives you some answers down here. So I went ahead before I went ahead and did and wrote out a cash a couple cash flow diagrams to kind of explain what's going on here. So this is the initial bond, the 14 year bond. And so if the company does not call the bond in and pay it off early, this is how they, they make every, every semi-annual payments, their coupon payments every six months, all the way until 14 years. And then after the 14th year, at the time they made the last coupon payment, they're also gonna pay the face value of the bond, which is a thousand dollar bond that's inferred in this problem. Okay. And then the question's asking, well, it can be called in four years. So if they're going to call it in four years, what is the yield to call this? This is called, if I was going to calculate the yield of this bond, it would be called yield to maturity. This bond here would call, be called yield to call because the company is calling in the bond. They're going to pay it off already. They're going to pay it off. The, they're going to pay the thousand dollars. Plus it's got this third little thing here. It's called the call premium, right? So we have to calculate the call premium in. And also it has eight, um, coupon payments because it's a semi-annual coupon payments. <clears throat> okay, so most students, most students get confused on this because, uh, because these coupon payments, you know, this 5.25%, they assume that's the rate, but this coup, this coupon bond, the percent coupon bond is just to figure out what the payment is here, right? So you take this $1,000 times 5.25%. That's the yearly coupon payments. This is a sum annually divided by two. So 1,000 times 5.25% would be 52.50. Every six months would be 26.25. So anyway, let's get into this problem and see if we can solve it on Excel real quick. And I'll also show you how to do it on the BA, BA2 if you want to at the end here. So I'm going to go given. And we're given. Well, first thing we want to say is we're going to give the given the coupon rate, and the coupon rate is uh, five point two five percent. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put N R P V P M P M T and future value. Okay, so that's normally time normal time value of money, and since we're solving this problem here, we want to know the yield to call. N is going to be before years. Okay. And R is what we want to know, you know, the yield to call. Okay. So this is something we want to know. The present value is how much we're willing to pay for that bond. So if we're going to pay for it, it's going to, of course, be negative. So it's going to be money coming out of our pocket. So it's going to be a negative. And that's why we have it pointing down here on the cash flow diagram. So we're going to invest $1,075.50. Okay, so that's what we're investing in the bond. Now, uh, the payment, well, this is the coupon payment. And we need to calculate that. We'll calculate that down in the solution area. And the future value, the future value we also don't know. We have to calculate that. That's going to be the that's going to be the uh, uh, the face value plus uh, some type of call premium. We have to calculate the call premium too. Okay, so that's what that's going to be. Okay, uh, so because it's going to be it's going to be right here. It's going to be this future value plus this call premium because they're going to the company is calling the bond in early. All right, so we need to find three things. So the solution. So we need to find the, the main thing the problem wants. It wants R. It wants uh, the yield. The call. 
All right. So, uh, uh, so for a solution, I'm going to go ahead and click on this and format painter, format painter. Okay. So the solution, first, let's go ahead and find um, the coupon payment. So we'll say the payment. Oh, I remember I told you it's going to be this. We use this not. This isn't the rate. This is what you use to calculate the payment. It's going to be equal to a thousand dollars, okay, which is the face value of the bond, okay. And so uh, we'll put we use this right here, and then times five point two five percent, and then divided by two. Remember, it's a semi-annual payment, so you got to divide it by two. Because this would just give you if it was a yearly payment. So that's uh, every six months. We'll just say coupon payment. We know it's every six months. Okay. The next thing we want to calculate out is the, the call premium. Well, the call premium, uh, I wanted to format that was. Okay, so the call premium, well, that's equal to this times two. Because what does it say? It says it's. The call premium is one year of coupon payments, so that's two coupon payments. Okay, and so now we can calculate the future value. The future value is going to be equal to, again, it's going to be the thousand dollars we're going to get in the future. Remember, we're going to get it here too, a thousand dollars, and and then it's going to be plus this fifty-two fifty that the company is going to give us for calling the bond in early. Let me make this so you can see it a little bit better. Okay. Uh, okay, so it's this plus this right here. All right, so now we have what we need to figure out the rate. Okay, so it's going to be equal to the rate. And the number of periods is going to be this four years. Remember, it's some annual payments. You got to remember, you got to take that times two. So it's eight payments. And then the payment is going to be this coupon payment. And the present value is how much we paid for it. The future value is going to be the thousand dollars plus our call premium. Okay. And then the last thing you want to do is this rate here is calculating, since we're using eight payments, it's calculating the semi-annual rate, so I gotta take it times two. And then we can make this into percent. And it always Excel always rounds off percent, so you can always make sure you take it out at least two places. Okay, so that's the answer. And that's exactly the answer the book got. Okay. All right, so uh so that problem is pretty easy now. So remember, this is called the yield to call. If you wanted to calculate the yield to maturity, it would be equal to two times the rate. And the yield to maturity would be 14 times two, because it'd be 14 years, right? And then the payment is still gonna be this 26.25. And the present value is still gonna be what you pay. And the future value now is gonna be this thousand dollars, right? And so the yield to maturity would be that, okay? Of course, the problem does now set. All right, so that's just if you want to calculate it. The problem doesn't ask it. So how do I do this on the calculator? Um, with a calculator, we'll I'll use a BA2. You're going to first make sure you clear your calculator. So you can go second, clear work, and then clear. Okay, and I'm just going to approach it left to right. So N is 8, right? So I'm going to go 8, and we're going to calculate this last, so I'm going to skip it. We're going to calculate the yield last. The present value is a negative 1,075.50. And the payment is this 26.25. And then the future value is a thousand fifty-two fifty. And 
and then we're going to compute the yield. Okay, I got to multiply that times two, so I'm going to go equals, and then times two equals 4.3865, which that's what this would be if you take it out a couple places, right? Or we just rounded it to two. So the same answer with the calculator. So anyway, hopefully that helps. Uh, remember, if you calculate it on the calculator, you got to take the answer times two, like we did here. We took it, whatever the answer was, we took it times two. Um, so this is a pretty complicated problem. So if you understand this, you pretty much understand bonds. It's all about understanding the, the language of the discipline. Now uh, you can relate it very easily back to our time value of money chapters if you just understand the language of the discipline. Don't get confused with this here. Remember, this is simply to calculate what the payment is. It's 5.25%. Always make sure you, normally it's going to be semi-annual. It's going to tell you, okay? Uh, but sometimes the problems are annual, so you got to be careful about that. Um, so that's it. Hopefully that helps. Thank you.